Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm here to talk to you about certain areas of my life that I'm trying to improve upon or change as we are now in fall. So a couple categories I want to talk about are skincare because when the weather changes, your skin changes and you have to adjust your skincare to give your skin what it needs. I also want to talk about diet, some things that I'm trying to change for my diet. Also fitness, I wanna just kind of let you know what I'm doing as far as fitness goes right now. And the last area I wanna talk about is staying motivated and being really productive. Just some tips that I have to keep you going throughout the day. And if you guys are struggling, if you're a stay at home mom, you work from home, and you just kind of feel like you need that extra boost, I'm gonna try to give you some ways, some ideas to make yourself be more productive during the day and just get that like inner drive going. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and let's get started. Okay, so starting with skincare. So as we're going into fall, the weather is getting a lot more dry. And this past month, I noticed that my skin was starting to get kind of flaky and patchy around my chin area. I was doing my makeup the other day and my foundation was just kind of sticking to certain areas and it didn't look great. So I usually use brightening products in the warmer months. I like my skin to look bright and radiant, but as we get into the colder months, I have to change my skincare because I need to use heavier products because my skin can get really dehydrated. So I've been using a few new products I'm gonna share with you. This one actually I've had for a while, but I just brought it out of my beauty closet to use again because it was a little too heavy for me in the summer, but now I can use it again and it's working really well with my skin. So I have a cleanser here from Osea. I've used their atmosphere protection cream before and I love that. And then this is the it's this is the ocean cleanser. And this is the Josh Rosebrook Nutrient Day Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So both of these can be found on Folane. It is a website that is full of non-toxic beauty products. Like it is my dream website guys. If you are looking for some new non-toxic products that are healthy for your skin, the cosmetics, skincare, hair care, it's all there. And it's a great way to find a bunch of different brands, but you know that they're all non-toxic and healthy products. Folane is sponsoring this video. So thank you to Folane because I love being able to share with you guys some companies that are trying to spread the word on healthier products for your skin because your skin is your biggest organ and you absorb up to 60% of products that are applied to your skin. So I think it's just important to know what you're putting on your skin. Just be conscious of the ingredients that you're using. And if you guys are looking for a place to start and just kind of dip your toes into non-toxic products, Folane offers a little travel kit. This is their clean essentials kit. And look how cute this bag is. It says, I like my products like I like my people, non-toxic. So you get this little kit. And they gave me a coupon code for you guys. I will have a link down below for half off of this kit, which is amazing. So you get a little baby of the Osea Ocean Cleanser. It's vegan, gluten-free, no animal testing. This is made with seaweed and algae, which is really good at detoxifying your skin. Your skin can start looking dull if it's not that clean because it gets all this buildup of dead skin cells and gross stuff from the environment. So you really gotta make sure that your skin is clean. So this is a really good job at cleaning your skin, but it's not gonna strip your skin. Cause at this time of year, you don't want anything that's gonna pull all your natural oils out. You want it to still be hydrating. So I've been really loving this. I love the packaging. It's really nice and chic. It looks pretty in my bathroom. You also get this soap. I have the full size of this as well. This is 100% toxin free. You can use it for your hands, body, dish, counter, dog, delicates, kid. It says everything soap. You get this Indie Lee toner, which I use and it smells really nice and herbally. It's refreshing. You also get the Ursa Major Recovery Cream. This is a really nice hydrating moisturizer. And you get a little facial wipe. So if you guys wanna try this out, I'll have a link to that down below. Something else I've been doing is switching out my serum for a moisturizer. So in the morning, I apply my moisturizer and then I apply a day cream on top with SPF. So instead of using just like a lightweight serum, I'm using a moisturizer that's giving me a little bit more hydration. And I feel like it just primes my skin for my makeup a little bit better. It just feels like my skin is really nice and nourished. So this is the Michelle Moisturizer Ultra Hyaluronic Hydrating Cream. And it's for normal skin. And I just apply this all over my skin after I cleanse and tone. And then I go in with this, which is a moisturizer with an added SPF 30. Okay, I also wanted to show you guys these two serums that I use at night. This one is True Moringa Simplicity. 
And this, actually both of them help with brightening, but since they're oils, they still give you a ton of hydration. This I love because it explains it as something that's hydrating enough to use in the winter, but also lightweight enough to use in the summer. This is great for anti-aging, also helps to plump up your skin and gives you just kind of like a glowing look. And then this one is also good for fine lines, adds a ton of deep hydration and just feels really lightweight. These are also both really affordable, so I'll link these down below, but I would definitely recommend using an oil-based serum at night because when you wake up in the morning, your skin will look so radiant and plump. So if you guys are on the hunt for some new clean products for your skin or even just makeup, hair care products, check out Fullane's website. I think you guys will find a lot of things that you really are interested in. They have over 75 different brands, so there's a lot to choose from. The next area I'm trying to change a little bit is my diet. Now, specifically cutting out sugar, not completely, but I'm trying to restrain myself. I feel like when it starts getting colder, I crave sweets. Like I don't know if any of you guys are the same, but I see chocolate and cheesecake and I just want a tub of ice cream when I'm watching my shows at night cuddled under a blanket. So I'm really going to try hard these next couple months to just not give in to all of my sugar cravings. Whenever I'm eating too much sugar, I have way less energy and my skin tends to break out. So that is something that I'm gonna try really hard to do. I also am trying to drink a lot more water. I was doing really good a couple months ago and then I don't know what has been going on lately, but I'm not drinking enough water. I think I'm drinking too much coffee and forgetting to drink water. So something I heard from somebody is to fill water bottles up before you go to bed at night and then place them in areas throughout your house where you typically are and you'll remember to drink them. So what I'm gonna try to do is to fill up at least two water bottles, my big hydro flask, and then I have another big water bottle as well. I'll fill those up at night and then I'll put one in the bathroom. So the first thing when I wake up, when I'm doing my skincare and everything, I can start off by drinking water. And then I'm also gonna place a full water bottle on our little breakfast nook area because that's where I sit down in the morning and I drink my coffee. And the last thing you wanna do in the morning is fill up a water bottle. I don't know why it's so annoying, but I hate filling up my water bottles. So I feel like if I have them already full, ready to go for the day, I'll be more likely to drink my water. But I've never been one to follow diets. I just don't, they don't work well for me. And I just don't really believe in doing strict diets. I feel like every now and then you're gonna break. And for me, it's all about everything in moderation. I try to always just eat healthy for the most part. So that way when I do have a little craving, then it's not gonna like ruin my whole diet. I also feel like it's too overwhelming sometimes if you're like, I'm gonna cut this out, this out, I'm only having this many calories. It's just too many things to think about and I just, I just can't do that. So for me, it's just like having one or two things that I'm trying to improve upon. So right now it is less sugar and more water. Next up, let's talk about fitness. So I still am running and I still am doing my yoga. I set my alarm for 5.40 in the morning. I like to be up for about an hour before my twins wake up because it gives me some quiet alone time, which is very needed. So I do my yoga. I will just go on YouTube and I'll search. Lately, I've been doing morning yoga. Sometimes I'll just go to yoga with Adrienne. She has really good yogas. Or I'll do yoga for weight loss because those are a little bit more toning and I'll find something that's like 20 to 30 minutes. If I just don't have that much time, I'll do 10 to 15 minutes, but a little bit of something goes a long way. And then after I've had my coffee, water, and a little breakfast, I go on a run. But I don't run every day. I only run like two to three times a week. So usually it's Mondays and Wednesdays is when I run. And that is just a really good way for me to just, it's like a release. It's good on so many levels. It's good for my skin because it just gets everything out of my pores. I feel so good when I just get outside and sweat a little bit. My skin looks way, way more healthy. I also am way happier. I swear that running just boosts my mood so much. If I don't get any cardio in that day, I kind of feel like I'm lagging a little bit. So it kind of has the reverse effect. You feel like if you're going to expel all this energy, you're going to be super tired, but you actually get a lot of energy back when you do do that. So then when I have more energy and when I'm in a better mood, I'm way more productive during the day. So I do find that when I am getting a little bit of a workout in, I just, I'm just on it more. I get more done. I'm just kind of all around like a more productive person. And then on days that I don't run, I use my Nike training app and I do usually like a 20 minute workout. So I'll either do a full body workout or like a 
butt and leg workout or a toning in your arms workout, something like that, to where I can still, you know, burn some calories, break a sweat, but I can stay at home and I can do something quick. I usually just do it in our bedroom and I have just two five pound weights, which is usually all I need for those workouts. And it just feels good and it's a way to help tone my body. I forgot to mention that I mainly do yoga just for kind of the mental state that it puts me in and it just brings a little bit of zen to the rest of the day. But it also helps to tone your body. In the beginning when I was doing my yoga, it was kind of just more for like my alone me time, but I was noticing that my arms were getting really toned from it too. So if you are looking to tone up a little bit, I think yoga is a really good thing to try, especially if you are running or doing some high intensity cardio, it really helps to get that good stretch in. So I just feel like the combination of the two is really good. Last step is self-care getting motivated, staying productive, and a few things that I'm trying to do more often now. The first is to unplug in the morning and at night. So what this means for me is to just not be on my phone right away when I wake up in the morning. It's so hard to not just go on your phone and scroll through Instagram the second you wake up. But what I find is when I do that, it gets me off track and usually if you just wake up and you know you start on your to-do list or whatever you're more focused but when you open up your phone and maybe open up your inbox you're instantly taken somewhere else what happens is when you get in your inbox too early you're putting out fires for other people you're doing things that they need to get done during the day as opposed to figuring out what you need to get done first so I try to put my phone away for a little bit you know, I'll do my yoga, my coffee, drink my water, and I'll sit down technology free, computer free, and I'll just open, this is my planner, I'll just open my planner and kind of get a sense for what I need to get done during the day and also for the week. Then once I have that done, I'll usually open up my laptop and I'll go through my inbox or I'll look at my phone for some things, but I just feel like giving yourself a little bit of time without your phone, without the computer, is just a good way to kind of get yourself on track for the day. I also am trying to unplug at night. So usually what I do now is after, we usually have like a show we wanna to watch together at the end of the day. So we'll watch our show and then I've been going to bed a little bit earlier. I'm not, I'm not going to bed earlier, but I'm going into our room and our bathroom earlier and just spending a little extra time on my skincare, doing a face mask or just laying in bed and just kind of decompressing for a little bit. When you just go to bed right after watching TV, I don't know, it just feels like you're kind of wasting your time. So when I just leave the living room a little bit earlier, Andrew's always like, what are you doing in there? I'm like, I don't know, I just do my skincare and just kind of relax and it's nice to kind of clean up my bedroom and stuff just so you feel like when you wake up in the morning, everything is like where it needs to be. I can get so tied down to my phone to where I'm not getting things done that I need to as fast as I could be. Even just during the day, it's so easy to just check your notifications and check your inbox every 10 minutes. So now every time I wanted to pick up my phone, I'm thinking to myself, that can wait. And I just need to finish doing something that I'm currently doing and I'll get to that later. And one other thing about your phone, if you are working, if you're at the computer or whatever, put your phone on airplane mode. That's something I just started doing. If I'm editing on the computer, it's so distracting to have my phone there because I'm just checking it or if somebody texts me, like it's right there and you just are instantly on your phone and you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. So either put your phone in another room if you don't need it for what you're working on, put it on airplane mode so you can fully, you can have all your attention and focus on whatever you're doing at the time. If you guys have some tips on not being on your phone that often or just some things along that nature, let me know in the comments like some things that you do to help you just unplug a little bit or just not resisting to check your phone so often. So these are some things I'm trying to work on, on myself, on just life lately. I hope you guys found this motivational and just kind of little things to help improve upon your life. These are things that I'm always trying to work upon. I'm always trying to be more productive. I'm always trying to feel better about myself. Just things that I'm eating, things I'm putting on my skin and whatnot. So I hope you guys all enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. I post videos twice a week and that's it for today. So I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.